Hello Fireworks Tutorials viewers, in this video I will be showing you how to send files way above the attachment size of either your email or the site that you use to send away your files. Um, I'm showing you this because um, I do not like using you know, an alternative site to send away my files unless it's I want to share it with you know a lot of people. So um, first thing you're going to need is an extractor. Um, if you already have an extractor, you can skip this step, but if you don't, please visit fwtdownloads.tk and we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the extractor section and, you know, choose one of these extractors. Um, once you've got that, you're going to go to the file that you want to send and you're going to right click and click add to archive. And once you've got that, you can give that the archive a name and the archive format, go ahead and go to RAR because RAR, RAR files decreases the size of you know the main file so it will be in a small smaller file size and in compression method we're gonna go ahead um, click fastest if it's a video I would recommend fastest and if it's a normal file go ahead and click normal split volumes um, this is the important part now um, I'm gonna go depending on your your um, you know email limit go ahead use that so if your email limit is 20 megabytes go ahead and type in 20 M but I'm gonna go ahead and use 10 megabytes and type 10 M now you can set a password for this it's really optional if you you don't want anyone to access it except you know a certain person so you can go ahead and set a password, but I'm not going to do that. Once you're done, you're going to click OK, and it will start creating the archive or compressing it. Now I have two parts. Make sure you send away the two parts to the person that um, that you want to share the file with, or they can't access the main file, and as well as the password, and um, make sure they have an extractor and they're basically they're just gonna right click and extract it to their desktop or you know their documents or whatever and they're gonna get the exact same file um, those exact same video so thank you guys for watching this video tutorial and if this video helped please rate and comment give me some feedback and um, please subscribe to my videos to support me